Hey guys, what is up? This is Castle of Perfect here with the comment question of the day. Which one do you prefer, dogs or cat? I prefer dogs because I don't like that fluffy stuff on cats and they always leave a lot of air on your couch. I don't like dogs. So let me know in the comments guys. I'm curious. Peace. Oh yeah, and enjoy the video. Alright guys, so as you heard in the intro, today we're gonna have a very good match here against... Um, oh well, I don't remember the name already. So that is not gonna really help out the video too much, but... I think it is better if I keep his name a little bit secret because of what's going on in this video. So um, let's go ahead and uh, introduce the battle a little bit. This is going to be a UURU match mixed here. So he's going to lead with a Torterra. I'm going to lead with a Medichamp. As you can see, I have the advantage right off the bat because I do have the ele elemental punches. Ice punch, thunder punch, drain punch and bullet punch. So basically... What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go for the Ice Punch, trying to take out the Torterra right off the bat, but he's gonna predict that and he's gonna go out into the Bastiodon. Um, really good switch on his part, but um, that is not gonna re really help him too much because he doesn't have a Ghost on his team, so I can basically stay in and go for the Drain Punch. Apparently he was maybe predicting me to have a Choice Scarf, which I don't have, so I'm gonna stay in and go for the Drain Punch. Uh, he's gonna switch out into the Pikachu, that is going to one-shot KO the Pikachu because, you know, Pikachu doesn't have the biggest defenses of the world. It is actually very frail and it can die to almost every every single move, so um, that is kind of unfortunate. So the Pikachu is gonna go down as he brings out the uh, Medichamp and this is gonna be huge because he's gonna go for the Psycho Kud and as you can see, I'm gonna leave it with a little bit of he health and I'm gonna go for the T-Punch and guess what's gonna happen here? I'm gonna get a critical hit which... Um, in my opinion, didn't really matter too much because in the end, I will definitely be taking out the uh, Medichamp with a bullet punch. And if not, I always had my Galade with a shadow sneak and uh, close combat for the rest of his team, and also elemental punches on my uh, Galade. So it didn't really matter too much. Uh, in the end, I actually end up hitting the Bastiodon after I destroy the, his Medichamp with a critical hit with a thunder punch. Uh, Drain Punch is gonna take out the Bastion in one shot and this is amazing because I was ab I was about to die because of the Life Orb Recoil and also from the damage that I took from the Psycho Cut and uh, you know Drain Punch is gonna actually <laughs> bring me uh, back to above half uh, after I beat down the Bastion and now he's gonna bring out a Mule Tank and that is gonna one shot KO the Mule Tank which is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go back to full health which is incredible. At this point I was like Oh my god, Medicham, you're such a freaking uber. Look at that, you're just demolishing this team a, a lot. So he's gonna bring out a Torterra. I'm gonna go for the Ice Punch, basically, because that's four times super effective. And as you can see, his team is basically very weak to, uh, to a Medicham, because for one reason, I mean, I have almost all the super effective moves on my arsenal to pretty much take out his entire team. The biggest mistake that he, could have, that he did on this match was bringing out the Pikachu or switching out into the Pikachu, not thinking at all. Uh, I think that my, I might switch out or something like that. He shouldn't have taken that risk and just pretty much have sacrificed one of his Pokemons in order to bring out Pikachu safely into the field and just basically had a stand a chance against uh, my Medichamp. So uh, that was a really bad play on his part. So he's going to bring out the uh, Blastoise here. I'm going to go for the T-Punch. Unfortunately, that, that, that is not going to KO the uh, Blaze Blastoise because uh, this it seems like this Blastoise is a little bit trained in defense and it is pretty bulky. So he's going to take me out with the Surf. And then I'm going to send out my Galate. I'm going to go for the Sword Dance, predicting something along the lines of Surf or maybe a Substitute. I don't even know what I was actually predicting. So I'm alright, so as my cousin comes in. <laughs> Anyways, um, he's asleep right now because of the rest. And uh, I am basically got a Sword Dance up, so I'm a plus 2 attack at this point. I'm going to go for the Psycho Cut, not really wanting, wanting to go for the Close Combat. I know the Close Combat would have taken him out in one shot, but I really, really had this feeling that I wouldn't take him out in one shot. So... I basically took the shot and went for the Psycho Cut just to not lower my defense, special defense, to be at least able to take one of those Surf after he went for the Sleep Talk. So the Psycho Cut did above 60% mm, damage, I believe, and the Close Combat is going to finish off the game. So it wasn't really the best game, but just got to show you that Medichamp, when nothing can outspeed the Medichamp, it is just pretty much a beast and it can wreck throughout teams like a monster. And I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay as well. So if you enjoyed this gameplay, make sure to give it a like. And uh, leave a comment down there and answer the comment question of the day. So I thank you guys for watching. And make sure to check out my two latest videos. They will be on the screen right now. And uh, yeah, until the next time, guys. Peace.